Supervise these nuts, eh? Am I good? Yeah. Well, are you good? How about you? How about we start the, the pub with that? Are you good? I'm always good, bro. Are you though? Sometimes I look at you and I think like... They you're always say the guys that laugh and smile the most are the ones that are deep down depressed and want to kill themselves. That's why Bazinga has the best laugh. Damn, brother. Isn't that good? What I've just said there? I don't know. Is that not good? I don't think it's good. I thought I was just added on like value to what you said. You didn't. You actually ruined what I said. I was really? saying some real shit. Well, but, I thought no, my shit was real anyway, too. Well, anyway, I don't think it's true anyway because I, I genuinely am just quite a happy person. Yeah. Sometimes, I don't know, lately... So for me, it doesn't apply. Uh, lately, I've been saying that you've been less and less active as, as a friend, you know? Yeah, I don't need to turn up anymore. I've done my duty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but you don't shout anyone to do nothing. No way, never. I've been there. I've done that. Like, I'm no, no, now. no. But you could be like, hey, let's go to the movies. No, no way. Because I, I, you know what it is? I don't want to... I'd rather go to the movies on my own. Do you know who the worst I don't want to go and miss it. Do, do you want to know who the worst people in the world are? And I know that there's some of you lot watching this, right? They always go... My friends never invite me to nothing. Yeah. And then I asked them, when was the last time you invited them to something? And they go, uh, nah, but it's not really like that. Like they're always doing stuff and they just don't invite me. Yeah. It's like, right. Okay. Next time you be the host, you be the, the organizer. People, you do that. The, that's the, there is a downside to that. Some people don't do be the organizer. Not everyone can be the organizer. You know what I mean? In a no, I know. Way. But if, if you don't, if you're not willing to step into the organizer role, don't complain about not doing stuff. What if there's like one leader that always makes the plans, but you don't get invited? How do you, you know, how do you navigate that? Well, you, you say, okay, I'm going to do my shit. I'm, I'm going to invite, hey guys, I'm, it, doesn't, it doesn't have to be that big. Yo, I'm going to go into town. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go do <clears throat> whatever it is. And then you drop the invite. Now, if everybody tells you, fuck off, I'm not coming. Like you're strange. <laughs> then, you, then you need some new mates. <laughs> that was me back in the day, man. I used to have some crazy shit, man. What's I, your thoughts on when- I used to be so loose. <laughs> Stop saying stuff like that. You're so weird, bro. <laughs> You don't understand that. I just- <laughs> Lucy Goosey, bro. <laughs> Lucy Goosey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's these memes, right, that go around on Twitter and I realize I'm, I'm that person. You know the person that stands up and says, right, let's rock and roll. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> That's me. Uh, I've got them dad jokes in me, you know, like when someone comes in and I'm like, is there anybody in there now? That's me. <laughs> That wasn't even English. You know, I guess they let anyone Someone put in some there, titles no. on that. Nah, but or this one, by the way, I, by the way so, here, how about this one? You see when you're going into a restaurant, right? And you're, and you're asking for the bill. I do I do that. I don't even say anything. I just put this one up. But everybody's, I've seen on Twitter that everyone's psyching that off. That's, I, I was supposed to do a shout like, yo, get me the bill. Nah, I'm mad rude, man. I start clapping and clicking and shit. <laughs> Stand up, stop stamping your feet. Yeah, where the fuck is that bill? <laughs> <laughs> no, but for real though, I used to be mad weird when I was younger. I mean, I used to like fantasize about being like the cool kid that walked into the party. So in my head, I'd be like, I'd walk in all mysterious and people are slowly to the <laughs> look at me. You know, in I'd an alternate like, universe, I'd you were one like, of those school shit. shooters, you know. Oh, in an alternate universe. I, I think, yeah, in another life, I, I fucking was. I was bullied into that. If in, in America, I probably would have been one. Yeah, have you seen that in the US now that you can either buy a clear backpack, right, to show that you ain't got an AR-15 tucked away in there, right? <laughs> <laughs> or you buy a bulletproof backpack. And then I've seen some other tutorial videos, right, of like... Tutorials of what? Like the deaths are bulletproof, so they're like, how to defend yourself in 15 seconds from getting your fucking head blown <laughs> off, right? And it's just these guys, like, they flip their desk over and they hide behind it, and then it's some... Guy like just right shield sort of thing. Yes, yeah, like a right shield, but it's Crazy. your desk. Back in my day, we just we just used to draw cocks on our desk. That's true. God forbid that thing ever had to hold up Yo, some bullets. I, I would have been uh, fucking. Mate, I remember back in the day, my, mom, my parents fucking flagged me for searching up interventions on a laptop. <laughs> <laughs> they thought I was like lot in some fucking madness. They thought I was like How on a little bit of a mad wave. Know what an intervention is though. Like my mum wouldn't know what an intervention no, is. No, because obviously it was Google image search. So she's oh, clicked right. to she's see. She's clicked it. She's seen fucking one little sniper coming up. Right. Should have took that one to her though. No, I got I, I had something crazy lined up there, but <laughs> I just realized that would not land right. Oh, well, you know what we should do? I did it on the weekend. We should no, go paintballing. Not. Paintballing? What? Bro, it was so fun. I don't, I don't like playing paintball, uh, paintball with competitive people, man. You lot actually think you're in a game of Call of Duty and it does one not. I was like barking orders at people I didn't yeah. know. I would have just turned around and just blown one of my own boys. Nah, head. they were loving it, man. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, man. <laughs> Get out the game. Doing my sweet. Talking about, <laughs> talking about cancel slide. <laughs> slide cancel. 
I assume about pro guys like Prod, you know, they're just always on that wave. They're no, always we, just barking bro, shit at you. We, it was, we played a game of domination. There were six houses and you had to be like, your team had to take the majority of the houses. It was fucking crazy. There was this middle <laughs> house, yeah. That's all, so All of us gay. boys were in this middle <laughs> 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 Bro. Now, let me tell you something. <laughs> Them airsoft donnies or something. <laughs> <laughs> One yeah, game. Bro, like, you ever seen them videos where he's yeah. got it on full auto <laughs> and they're screaming at each Airsoft other? Airsoft rage compilations are the best. Is when they've shot someone they haven't walked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and they just fucking hey, buddy. Lose their... Hey, buddy. I got you. <laughs> I Shit, snitched bro. on someone to a marshal. You snitched, I... bro. <laughs> it's like, a fucking paintball game. I what shot him. I shot him. It was a fucking beautiful shot round the side of a barrel. I literally get the curvature on the shot. Oh, shut up, man. Tell that bend it like back on with It was <laughs> unbelievable, oh, I'm telling bro, you. Bro, things in and the I, movie wanted. I told, I told the marshals, like, bro, I've just Driving shot him. Go and check his paint. They're talking to marshals. I've shot him and he's all gone down. I said, go you and check right. the paint on his shirt. I, I respect. I would like to go to, like, one of those professional little airsoft things, though. It hurts so, by the Fuck way, man. airsoft. Not airsoft or whatever it is, but at the same, you know what I'm talking about. When it's, like, yeah. proper professional yeah, and, they, and they rock around in teams. Uh, but it hurts. It does hurt. It oh, does yeah. hurt a little bit. No, something crazy. Unless I'm not up to this right on. now. Maybe this is why I don't like paintball. I went there as a friend's birthday when we were younger. I got hit in the hand and it hurt so much. Mm. I just pretended I fainted. <laughs> Because <laughs> I didn't want to do it anymore. And then we, were like, we went back into school. Literally the next day, everyone was laughing at me because I fainted at paintball. <laughs> and like, you know how much of an L that was? I just didn't want to do it because it hurt. Right? So I thought the best plan of action there was to faint. Did you know? And then I just got cooked at school because then obviously the next day I'm uploading Call of Duty commentary videos, <laughs> <laughs> acting like the big bollocks where I just been banged in the in the in the finger with a paintball. Yeah, you did, couldn't hack it. Did you not get the protective gloves? Because I got the Commando I did, no, Black Ops pack no, and I got a pair uh, of gloves in my pack. I remember no. when I was a kid, man, and I went to Alton Towers in like year eight. I was scared of all the coasters. So what I did is, we, me and my mate went off. You weren't really meant to go without the teacher, but we went off. We went to one of the other roller coasters, went into a shop, bought a medal that said, I rode this ride, came back, and we were like, yeah, we just went on that. No, you didn't. We just went, yeah, like, we just came back like, what this, yeah. I love how that was just, the currency of clout back then. You don't understand, like, people were, were mind blown. You went on that? Yeah, I rode Nemesis and that. Nah, it's nothing. I did it with no seatbelt. Yeah, no, no supervisor. Oh, sorry, I didn't realize. <laughs> uh, anyways, let's loser. talk a little bit about what's been going on. Uh, by the way, me and Chip, we were just away the whole of last week. We went yeah. to Oman, um, filmed a little desert video for me. But what we want to do is we went with Randy. So I think when that video comes out, so I imagine like a couple of weeks time, we're actually going to film the podcast with Randolph. And we'll talk about all that because we got some really cool stories from that whole experience. Yeah, it's going to be banger. Um, Didn't but you yeah, just we'll vlog it all We'll though. save on that. Huh? Didn't he just vlog the whole thing? Yeah. Nah, nah, nah. Not, not the, nah, he, he missed out like all the good. Oh yeah, he did to be fair. He didn't put any of the good stuff in it. Yeah, there was loads of stuff that happened and he, um, he didn't. But that was quite nice of him because... Otherwise, it just would have been my video via a vlog. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we, ha we had a lot of fun on there. But in the meantime, what been happening, Prod? What did we miss? Because obviously when I was at him, oh man, by the way, I had full signal in the desert. So see these people that are talking about how like the desert is just like this mad experience. I was watching Netflix and YouTube in the middle of the desert. I don't want to hear it. Yeah, that's true, man. The signal was good out there. It was better than what I get in Hackney. Yeah. Isn't that nuts? X videos in the tent. <laughs> <laughs> did you be honest with me? No, no. Be, 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 honest, you be honest with me. Did you have a wank? You be honest with me. I didn't have a wank. Nah, let me be honest with you. I was in the tent. <laughs> <laughs> I started low key like showing. You room. know what? On the first started, night he had his own tent. That's how I know this you is You know real. what it is? Like when you roll over and like your leg rubbed against your knob <laughs> and you're like, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> ooh and I, then you, and then I you... could. <laughs> Don't tempt me. <laughs> and you roll back over and the other that grubs on it and you're like, oh shit, man. And then when the sand granules get in amongst it and cause the extra friction, that's when you're really winning. <laughs> what happened though, Prod? What, what's been going on the, the um, internet? JJ's been uh, accused of being oh. a scammer. Oh uh, yeah, but it was waffle in the end, weren't it? Oh, let me tell you something actually. Let me I, I scammed someone. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> let me tell you what I bumped into in the, in the club the other night. Cavos. Where the I've been with you the last whole week. He wasn't in Oman. No, nah, it, it was, um, I was out for the missus sister's birthday. And then it was like, we went to this place where you go at like 4 a.m. or whatever. I can't remember the name of it, but it was a decent spot. And he, I just saw him there. He's mad tall and turned around. He goes, you know me. And I'm like, yeah. What? Is that what you oh, said? That's some no, mad energy. No, no, no it wasn't. That. It wasn't like in a bad way. I think it was like more because we never met before. And he was kind of just trying to figure out if I knew who he was or Oh, it was like if, a question rather he, than like a, never, you know me. We've never spoken. Right. So he might probably 
didn't know if I knew him or not. Or, and I was like, shit, yeah. And then we spoke for a bit. It was just one of them classic cases where he's a nice guy as well. Yeah. He's talking about how it was, I asked him, like, I said, fair play for taking down your thing. And he was like, yeah, man, I was wrong. It was wrong, blah, blah, blah. I was like, okay. I respect enough. that. I so can he respect does believe that. in, like, he's not, it seems, like, it seems like he believes in what he was saying. But, but yeah, I invited him on the pod. <laughs> I said, come on the pod, bro. Let's chat. There's top business. JJ, yeah, JJ won't give a shit. <laughs> well, why don't, why don't we have JJ on it as well? And they can just Same time, out. they can scrap it out. Yeah. He was tall, though. Was well, he actually, he's yeah, a big guy in this camera. Or at least so. I remember it, but I was waved, but he was tall. Yeah. Um, the the whole crypto scam thing, it was, I don't know, it's, it's uh, I need to actually read about it, but what the, the one thing I will say is that JJ might be one of the most mentally challenged people <laughs> I've ever met when it comes to cryptocurrency. Yeah, um, I'll bet that. So it's really tough to, and, and I do mean this in the nicest way possible to him, I, f I don't think he was capable of pulling off something as simple as a bump and dump. <laughs> As coffee Zilla. I just, I just, I, I'll be honest with you. I just don't like, cause that means he pumped and dumped on his own friends as well. So and JJ's like one of the most loyal guys. I don't see how he would have done this. What's happened then? Did coffee Zilla take down his? No, he hasn't taken it down. He's, he's sticking with it. I think at the moment. Anyways, mm -hmm. there was a guy that came out and like, uh, I, I saw the, I'll be honest. I didn't read it. It was like 36 page PDF mm -hmm. and it was sort of debunking why it wasn't a pump and dump. And then, uh, it was like, oh, okay, because they hadn't shown some of the times that JJ had actually bought the currency. Like he, JJ trades stuff. I think it was something people need to understand about JJ is like, he is the most impulsive person you'll ever meet. Yeah. And I'm I'm not talking like, oh, one day he'll just wake up. I'm talking like down to like hours. Like one hour he'll, he like when we, when we were really into cryptocurrency during what was called like the bull run. Yeah. He would come to me in one hour and be like, bro, this is the next thing. And literally an hour later, he will, he'll be there like, nah, it, it's actually trash. Like Found financial freedom. But yeah, I don't know. It's just one of those. It's one of those things. I I don't know enough about all, all this sort of stuff <coughs> to to go <clears throat> into it. But I'll be honest. If if there is something bad that happened, I'm like ninety nine percent sure that JJ didn't mean for that to be the case. So let's what just. What I it don't like that. get about this is obviously Coffee Dealer said about this Zach ZBT guy. He was yeah. waiting for JJ to tweet off the account. Why did JJ need to tweet off that account for him to expose it? Yeah, That's what I he was saying. You said, oh, he was waiting for the. To him strike to log the back fire in. Almost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't like, yeah, I'm not too sure what it is. Maybe he just thought, oh, JJ's given up on crypto, so there's no need to bring it up. Like, mm -hmm. it's kind of what happened, happened. And then when he saw him come back, he was there, like, oh, I'm going to let people know that he did this. I, I don't actually know. Um, but yeah, there's just a lot of conflicting back and forth going back between the two stories. So it is what it is. It's just long, isn't it, man? Like, so I, long. all this was happening. Um, honestly, I was. Looking at memes and stuff on the Yeah, my, my Twitter feed is my Twitter feed right now life is actually stinks, bro. What? Life stinks. No, but in the sense that like I don't do anything. You know, do when I get home, like, what am yeah. I doing? Yeah, what when do you I'm do? I'm not working. What, what am do I doing? You do? Nothing. You know what's funny? Today I I, I woke up I need to do and I got hobbies. that, you know, that Osmo camera that I've been harping on yeah. about. I got it and I was there like, bro, today I'm just gonna vlog. Yeah. I was there like, I might not even post a video but I just want to have the feeling about making more content. Yeah. Cause that's what I have really lack at the moment. Yeah, I feel like I don't enough. make enough. So I woke up this morning. <clears throat> yeah. I got the camera. I said, I'm going to make it. And then the first thing, the camera's out of battery. Yeah. That's and I'm there like, oh, right. Anyway, so I get a bit of charge in it. I'm there like, this is exactly the type of shit. Like normal me would have looked at this and gone, fuck, I'm not doing it today. But I said, nah, don't be that guy. Charge it. And let's film some shit. Ask me what I filmed today, Chip. Go on. What do you film? Nish. Good, because I, I, I ain't filmed nothing. That'll be the last vlog I ever watch. I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, I want to see you vlog though. Maybe I'm not going to lie. I have a feeling in my in my you, deepest chest that I would make good vlogs. Do you reckon? I actually do. It has to be like raw though. That's the wave. Yeah, it is. It is the Randy's wave. Right wave now. is working in it like that. Just fucking chat bollocks. Actually just show the day with unedited. I can do that, vibes. man. I can be that. But I also, I, I'd like to do it more on like TikTok. Like YouTube sits there. But Why don't you, bro? <sighs> You're right, man. I got too many excuses. I, ha nah, I hate you can excuses. Actually, to be fair, why don't you just record it, edit it, edit it. Don't put it out on YouTube. Put it out on TikTok landscape. Really? You think doing it on TikTok landscape? Why not? Just fuck around. Like you don't give a shit about your TikTok. Yeah, yeah, account, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. Well, there you go. Yeah, maybe I will do but that. But I just... <sighs> I just give you the key to financial you. freedom. Okay, so how do I stop premature ejaculation? <clears throat> Shit, you don't, because I still be doing that too. 
Do you reckon you actually Here like, God, here's some can ever get up. rid of premature ejaculation or just like you find out ways to manage it? Because yeah, realistically, edging. no one can have pleasurable, like entirely pleasurable, like that kind of sweet spot moment, which makes you nut. Yeah. For like a longer period of time ever. It's always going to be a short period of time. You just find out ways to make... What's short to you? What? What's short to you? I reckon I average a good like... Nah, not even what you average. What do you think is a short amount of time? Like a five minute. Parade. Nah, that's We're in different no. leagues, bro. <laughs> bro. I knew it. That's why I asked a question. Because this guy's in different leagues. For me, two minutes. Two minutes. That's good, bro. But are you talking from Some, start to sometimes finish? Sometimes I'll what? go for one minute and be like, damn, I went, I did good job. <laughs> I did good job. I did good job. <laughs> Hey, game, Sabina, man. I did good job. <laughs> <laughs> you like that one, yeah. Yeah, man. Two minutes, I did good job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you know, like for real though, like I I look, 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 the average type in average It's gotta be set. four, four minutes. No, I think it's like three three minutes, you know. I, I swear I read this. By the way, here's another little fun fact I found out. Zoella talks about sex toys. She talks yeah, about Yeah, she does. She does. Yeah. Three to seven minutes. Three to seven minutes. See, I actually do think- I think I'm within the average the, From time. the moment you slip your chopper in there. Yeah. I, I, I would say I'm nah, within, I'm, I'm about average. I you reckon- just, Maybe the, 10 minutes. From the moment the thought was, you know, in, it became a thought that you were going to have sex. That's when it starts. No way. <laughs> nah, you man. wish. Come on. You got to start giving yourself more credit, man. Because when, when you start getting bricked up, you're pretty much already fucking doing it. Nah, no way. You've just got to kind of ride the wave. Though. I'm just trying to get extra minutes in there, man. I really need them. I, I, extra what, reps. what if I not and stay in there for ages? Because sometimes I do oh, wait, that. So, so wait, are, can you? Like a microwave. There are some people, I know one guy, I won't say his name, that can... Like do rounds. No, 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 no. Like literally, like I need to wait a bang, full week. No, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm I'm I, I, no, I'm not even joking. I think my my reload time like at least an hour, at least at maybe least. two. Mine is at least a day. Yeah, a day. But do you know not, what? I, and I, I'll be like, don't even talk to me now. I'm going to the other room. <laughs> <laughs> Don't even look at me. Yeah. I'm disgusted well, by my I'll own. Go away, I'll put my headphones on my 3D glasses and I'll be playing on <laughs> fucking Xbox. Here, the other thing that I see, right? And the reason why I ask that question is because sometimes I'll be scrolling my timeline and then someone will just be, so it'll just pop up and it says like, when he goes like five rounds in one night and I'm there. <laughs> that, what do you mean five rounds in one night? <laughs> nah. That's not possible, right? It's crazy. There's nobody out there that's doing. Uh, have you put no. five times in one night? I've bro? never done five rounds, but Back everyone, the everyone has them times where it's like gone on for a fucking long old yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can yeah, have that yeah, one yeah. long round. Yeah. yeah, that's fine. I get, I, I get that. Everybody has that. Yeah, but you trying to tell me you're nutty? Five times. Yeah, it's good. Nah, I've probably done that back in like my younger days. When you first start like doing it. Really? Yeah. You, but now it's like, I need to regain old. my testosterone. I'll tell her I need to go on Call of Duty to kill some people to like <laughs> get manly again. I like yeah. how going playing video games with other men yeah. gets you brits up again. No, it just like refills your nuts. Damn. What's the longest you've porked for then? Don't know, probably. No, there's times where it just straight up, like it just it wasn't happening. Yeah. And then you just nah, but you it, have to give up. No, nah, okay. Right. So the longest you've put for where you know it is happening, okay. but you've just like kept it going for a long period of time and you've just like been an on hour? a performance. I feel like maybe I like, know, I don't know. Wait, wait, I don't let me tell know. you, maybe it, the, the time that that's happened would be oh, when really I was not. peppered mm. and uh, the, the, the idea of time is just fucked to me. Yeah. And so then ones, don't then ones where you're changing rooms as well, because you know, you need like five minutes setup time. Yeah, let me put the tripod over here. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, uh, Randolph, if you just sit in the corner over there. <laughs> would you ever Would you ever introduce that like, swinger life? Do you think that's what that happens on cruises? Nah, man, I wanna, I'm going celibate. For, uh, just the idea of it all is too much, eh? Bodily fluids. Blech. Get me away from that shit. What are you talking about? <laughs> Sometimes you just talk some mad stuff. <laughs> no, but now we just spoke about it too much. It's just grossed me out a bit. You just need to. Should we talk about something else? Yeah. All Let right, me let's... tell you some Proddy. All right. This is crazy. On a plane, right? The, you... Oh my God. No, hear me out. So when I, when I go on a plane, right? 
I started realizing that I was doing the wrong thing. I was, it tells you on the toilet to not flush anything down the toilet. So obviously I wipe my ass yeah. <laughs> this, and the shitty tissue I put in the bin. <laughs> Bro, okay. <laughs> no, no. It says on the toilet, nothing to go down the toilet. So I started. Yeah, maybe like fucking like. Yeah, like don't put nah. your, your your goggles down. Has a picture. Yeah. Has a picture of tissue. So no tissue down the toilet. Yeah, they're talking about like when you've washed your hands, like with the, with the with the kitchen towel, feeling shit. The sh your sh you know what this guy, so this all came from, by the way, he we're on the flight stinks. to Dubai. He comes and sits down and he's there like, yeah, I put the tissue in the bin bit, in the, in the bin bit, but it's kind of like half hanging out. I don't know what to do. And I'm there like, you put the tissue where? You put your, your ass <laughs> tissue where? And he's there like, yeah, just there. And they're like, bro, it goes down <laughs> the toilet. He's there like, no, there's a sign, there's a sign. I'm there like, no, that's so you don't put your fucking iPhone down there and shit like that. No, that's and he, fine. And he was there like, I, he, you, he told me for years <laughs> and every single plane, he's been putting his shitty toilet paper into the bin. I'm there like, bro, you're stinking up the entire toilet. You know what? At least I fold them inwards. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, mm, I'm doing everyone a favor nah, it's here. It's just like in case like the attendant comes and pulls the bag out and she, I don't want her to see my shit. Yeah, because it's not supposed to go in there. No, I'm that's just, disgusting. I'm you know, that's I'm actually a, a biohazard, what you've done, because <laughs> you're not supposed to put like poo in, in a fucking bin. Yeah, that's what sanitary <laughs> bins are for, because people can catch fuck. AIDS. If you if you had it, you could catch fuck. AIDS. You could have given someone poo. AIDS, bro. Fuck, well, obviously I don't have AIDS though. But You I, don't even know that. You don't even know where to put the toilet paper. It's a genuine bro. mistake. Wait. You know what's crazier? Because you know what's crazy? If I'm doing it, that means there are a couple other. No, there's not, Chip. Trust Nobody me. misunderstood the instructions like no, you. No, because it doesn't say no. It doesn't say words. It just shows a picture of a hand with a tissue saying no. So I've gone. Ah, right. So I can't can't put my tissue in the toilet then because I might block it up. And imagine a blocked up toilet. I don't want to do that for the plane. So I just fold them up. You know, just slip them into the bin. <laughs> That's, how are you trying to normalize this? I'm not trying to normalize it. I'm just that's sickening. The fact that you've put your being, shitty just, ass I'm being, all over these these things is mental. Did you not see that video of the guy telling his uh, missus that she's giving him AIDS? Nah. There's a video going around on TikTok and Twitter and stuff. Is it real? This, yeah, it's this American guy comes home. Yep. He blurs his girlfriend's face out. He's basically like, I've just him. come back from the um, the doctors and I've got I got HIV. Ooh. And she's damn, just like, that's... what do you mean? And he's like, well. You've obviously given it to me because I'm not fucked anyone else. Ooh. And then it's just like oh. she just doesn't seem to like respond. It's just it's just a fucking what creepy shit. What if she didn't know about it though? Well, I mean, is it one I, of those things that can fly under the radar? I I don't know. Like, does it like? Yeah, Maybe. I have no idea. You're gonna have to hit a little Google on that, brother. Let me show you the video. Um, Damn, that's that's crazy because <laughs> a lot of the time there are these situations where people don't even know they have it. Or do, or, or do they? Maybe they do know. Guy tells... That's oh, it. it's Theo. <laughs> I should pop up with Theo. Why when you not... typed in, guy gives girlfriend HIV and Theo Baker's face is Line ranking all time prem strikers. He got cooked for that, didn't he? Oh, yeah, he did. Man tells his girlfriend he has HIV. Is this it? No, that's not the one I saw. Uh, don't worry about it. Well, I anyway, think we got yeah. it. Pretty That's, wild. That is absolutely nuts. Well, oh, I got a question for you then. What? Do you die? It, uh, no, you it's manageable now. Yeah, yeah, with the with the right medicine, you, you can, can just uh, live. You can just live, yeah, which is pretty sad. But um, I got a question for you. In that scenario, if your other half came to you and, yeah. and and they were genuinely there, like I straight up did not know I had this. I've got it. How, wait, how, by the way, how do you give it to somebody? Just porking. Yeah. What, like I'm normal protected. Porking? I'm pretty sure yeah, unprotected I so. sex. I could be misinformed here, but I don't even think you need to like exchange fluids. Uh, qu quickly, just look here because I think it's only for. Really I nice. think I thought it, this is why like gay people, or is that just like a bad stereotype? No, no, no. That's that is because anal sex. I think. How is <laughs> HIV transmitted? There, basic information, top left. Yeah. Here we go. Through unprotected anal, vaginal, and oral sex. Okay, so it's everything. Oh. By sharing injecting equipment wow. from her mother to from her mother yeah, to her so baby. Yeah, so from baby, well. that's pretty Whoa. bad. Okay, so 
Is it mainly through? So why uh, why was it so prevalent nah, in the gay community? I know then? why. It's because they didn't know about it. Yeah. Right. And they were having unprotected anal sex during that period because the whole thing with people wrapping up, they think thought it was just to not get pregnant. And obviously two blokes can't impregnate each other. Uh, so they were just having unprotected sex, porking bareback and then oh, okay, catching okay. it and spreading Damn, it about. Fair enough, man. I remember that. I actually watched a movie recently on the, the, the sort of epidemic. Yeah of it and it was all about in the in the gay yeah. community and everything it was very Did sad you watch that tv really. series as well i forget it. it was very sad though i remember getting a little emotional at the end yeah there was sad. that tv series with the geezer from years and years right um, that was huge it. like two years ago um speaking of tv and movies on the topic um the baftas happened last night yeah you watch any of it I didn't watch it oh, i did yeah i know that you uh, fucking up and i would have sweeped it and up and i cleaned up <laughs> It didn't sweep as many as I thought it would. Yeah. It didn't It didn't win an adaptation or adapted yeah, screenplay or whatever yeah. that was. It missed out on a couple. Yeah, it, it was really like good. Three, it, it, I, I tell you what, I need to watch. Is it the zone of transmission or something? Yeah. yeah. Is that no, what it's called? I need to watch in, that. Something like that. There's interest or... Transmission of the zone or Here something go, one like second. that. Zone yeah, because that one a few... Zone of interest. Zone of interest, sorry. Well. I don't know where I got transmission from. It's yeah, about that, some is cars that about gearbox. the Holocaust? It's not English, is it? It's not an English speaking film. Anyways, I need to watch this. I, at least I don't think anyway. Oh, I didn't realise it was A24. Is it in... Because oh, I swear it won the award for best non-English film. But I could, be, I could be way off there. I have a fucking no clue. Uh, but yes, it, it, it won. So I wanted to see that one. I've seen Poor Things. Uh, Emma yeah. Stone won an award for that. That looked pretty good as well. Yeah. Um, I haven't seen that. I, although I've watched clips from Poor Things and I'm just not sure it actually does appeal now, to me. My told me the other day it was the best film he's seen in five years. And I just, I hadn't heard that high wow. yet though. So I'm going to watch it now, obviously. Yeah. I was going to watch it anyway. All right. I'll get around to And it. also that um, All of Us Strangers, is it, with Paul Mescal? That's been like highly rated and stuff. Have you heard about the rumor about Paul, this Paul Mescal guy? What he does is once he shags a bird, he takes him for a walk around Hampstead Heath <laughs> and then runs away from him. Wait, really? Yeah, seriously. <laughs> Why? <laughs> like that, Daddy, t- type that in really quickly. I thought you were about to drop a pun or something. No, no, no. He, he, he takes him for a walk around Hampstead Heath and then just runs away from them. Why? Though? And it's supposedly just like a thing that girls have come out and said, yeah, like once he porks you, this is just what, what he does. Running away on date. The center of urban Yeah, at the center. Okay, so here we go. Uh, Paul Mescal at the center of the urban myth, which claims he picks up women in bars and sprints away from them while on a walk the next morning. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine that? You're just quality. on a walk like, oh, wow, I've had such a lovely night with you. Let's go for a little walk. And then you turn around and he's just 10 toes. He's just in the distance running up the hill. Would you That's say crazy. he's the most eligible bachelor at the moment? What does that mean? Like, he's like the guy that every girl wants to fuck because he's single. Really? Is that and, a thing? Yeah, um, mate, he is. Hot you know what? It's interesting. At the BAFTA, they kept panning to him and I didn't really get why. Mm. Not not in a bad way, I'm sure. He's Show good looking. Lad. He is a, he's he's a good, good looking lad. But I don't Show know, like in my head. A little picky of him. That's him there. He's yeah, just, he's, he's got he's, that, he's, like, you know, oh, he's that masculinity. Gritty. Do you think? He's got, like, that testosterone. You know he smells, but, like, it's a sort of smell that I'm getting too Well, away. it's like a pheromone, I'm, like them it, pheromones not, are cooking. He's got nice legs, man. Yeah, he got a nice quad on him, for sure. Uh, but you know, well, you know what you were saying ages ago, Cal, about your missus liking it when you stink a bit? Yeah. He's the sort of bloke that I imagine stinks, but, like, <laughs> girls don't mind. Yeah. Yeah, maybe he does stink. Shout out to him if he stinks, though. Uh, Paul, you're more than welcome to come on the pod. We'd love to chat to you about this whole thing. I think it's fascinating. I'd love to smell him. Yeah, I want to sniff him, too. For real. We haven't had an actor on yet, have we? No, we haven't, actually. We do need to do that. Um, big, uh, the big... Uh, sti- we, we need the big we've had a few people Steve on. Steve Graham. Myself. Steve and fucking Graham. Get the goat on it. I would love to have him on, man. You guys know I'm a big fan of Boiler Room. Well, look, if he's... <laughs> What's the name of it? Boiling point. Boiling point. Boiling point. Boiling point. Boiling point. Come on, man. Respect it. <laughs> Him and Fred again just he absolutely paid ripping the way it up. For the bear. <laughs> uh, uh, another thing on the topic of movies is actually the Sidemen Netflix documentary. Well, Put your hands it, up yeah. in the room if you've seen <laughs> <Shock>. it. Shock. <laughs> oh, why did I know that you just wouldn't have watched it? I actually, well, to be fair, me and Chip were both away. I've when been, it came away, so you've been, been back had, a weekend. I've not had the chance, bro. You know what? You know what? We're what busy, happened? You know? I got back. <laughs> oh, come off it, man. Slept for like 12 hours. You went on a night whoop. out with Kavos. See my whoop. Went on a night out. Um, what else was I on? Went to Butmore. Dropped a little second place. Yeah, what's with you and being the Mr. Almost? Uh, it's just one of them ones. The guy. Like you're almost. He had always... the edge on me. I didn't even qualify in the front row, I though. So. I qualified fourth. But let's just know I was first by the second corner. You were. 
there's a video of it. I'm waiting for them to post it because the co- the guy who does the content at Bookmore Park was, mm-hmm. came up to us like, yo, I'm filming it today. So I saw him at film in the start Will, line. I was Will like, has a little please. Bit. Yeah, but his is like, I'm already ahead. Oh, okay. I need to see me like slip through the middle like a little Slippery penis. Slippery cock. Yeah, yeah. But it was good. Um, but yeah, look, the Simon Netflix documentary, by the way, massive shout out to these boys. Um, absolutely class from them, to be fair. Uh, the fact that they're on Netflix. I'll tell you what does stink though, the fact that it's only available in the UK. Is it actually? Mm. Now, this is a Netflix thing. They they didn't want to make it go. Maybe they didn't think that it would be like one, that it would be sort of Why suitable would they for their wider not thing. to do that though? It doesn't, does it, does it cost them anything? Even if it stinks in other countries, does it matter? You got to like, remember, get a you got to think of it as each s- pixel on the screen is real estate for them. Yeah. So they have to maximize their worth. And I guess maybe they just don't think that the, the side men are worth like US Netflix real estate. Right. Maybe um, this, they have. But the response they've had, it went to number one in the UK. Yeah. It was like trending number one. Like, surely that is enough to be there. Like, guys, just stick it on. Uh, I don't on know. The US, Maybe man. there was some copyright stuff as well. They'd have to get extra bits for different countries. Nah, I don't know. I think I think just straight up. I, let's hope that they uh, that they put it on. Or globally. maybe they're just saving it for another release in different countries. More hype. I hope so. Extend the hype. Oh, who knows? By the time this this comes out tomorrow, it, it could be announced as global. So we won't spend too much talking about too much time talking about. But I did feel a little bit bad. But hey, look, we've promoted VPNs on here before. Check them out. You'll be able to watch it. Um, so, yeah. So neither of you have watched it yet. No. Look, I'll be honest. I actually have no intention of watching it, and I'll tell you At why. Least you're I, honest. No, no, no. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stanley's laughing. I'm not saying that is bad or anything. It's because I've been told that I'm in it quite a few times, and you I are. really and it's a serious documentary, and I don't like watching myself talk about like my friends in a serious manner like that. Really? Yeah. Does it make you it's, feel uncomfortable? It's, yeah, man. Like when they were talking, asking That's me the a conversation question. you've got to have with yourself in the mirror, you know, brother. Mm. No, what but it's, it's, the, what, what it's, it's not of? about me because I can talk about it. No problem. Yeah. I just don't like watching it back. Why? What are you scared of? By the way, I've got such bad hay fever, man. My nose is so itchy. So please forgive me. But um, what am I scared of? I'm not scared of it. I just think it's, I know all the stories in here. I just, I don't know why I find it. How long is it? Hour 40, I think. Fair enough. I will get around to watching it. It is good. And I thought I, my favorite parts of it definitely were the, the bits about Josh. I found those really interesting. Yeah. Like yeah. him opening up about all of his like anxiety and stuff, but also about how much he gets involved and how much he actually runs it all. I didn't realize that. I'm yeah. more excited to see how well of a production it is. <laughs> it is great. Yeah, that's why I, I want to see how it's No, I, 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 I've, I'll be honest with you. I've spoken to most people and I asked them like straight up mm. that you can say your honest opinion and they say honestly it's a class documentary oh really like it's really good I'm and, and the other, and the other thing that I know as to why it is actually really good is because the side man while they were filming this whole thing they knew it was being filmed and they were honestly quite skeptical about it oh. and they were on the verge of just being like, like nah this kind of stinks da 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 they went to watch it and they all came out and said it was way better than they thought it was going to be and they're really happy with it I like and I know if those boys because they're really <laughs> difficult to, to please and so if they're happy with it then I know it's a good documentary Watch but, one with a missus though. Yeah, yeah. It will, maybe I should watch it. I don't know. My missus already watched it though, so maybe maybe I don't need to. But she's proud d- of you. I don't know. There's nothing to really be proud of though. Like, You're on just, Netflix, bro. No, that is cool. That is yeah. cool. My hey. mum texts me saying, "I've just watched Simon documentary." Like, yeah, cool to see you You're there. On Netflix, yeah. And that it is, is cool to say. I am on Netflix. It? So thank you to the Simon boys for having me. I don't know if it was even their choice to have me in that thing, but thank you to the production for having me because it's pretty Yo, special. That you me might be that. on Netflix again this Friday. <laughs> Do we actually think that this is going to be... Is it going to happen? It'll be part of a montage. I feel, yeah, but even so, I'll take that, man, because it would be... I feel like on... It t- would, tell, tell what people... Okay, so about. people, if you're wondering about, obviously when we had Oscar Piastri on last season of the Fellas podcast, Drive to Survive film crew came with him and we did sign documents. I think we signed them before we started filming. And it was a you know a decent sized crew. I think like two cameramen. We were mic'd up, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, I feel like it would be a waste if there. I imagine there's going to be an episode dedicated to Oscar Piastri coming in as a rookie, that kind of stuff. What is what adjusting to life as a, the newest F1 driver on the grid, yeah. all that stuff. It would be a waste for us to not be in there for one second. <sighs> Yeah, I think I'm with Proddy. It might just be like a real flash. Yeah, it'll be like a. I didn't realize you were mic'd up though, because obviously I wasn't here. Yeah, that we day. were. I didn't realize I did, that. I, I think it will be like if we are in. It is I don't be know. Like a I, I also seconds. think I can only imagine a, a massive thing like that, and just the amount of stuff they must film yeah. to then 
just completely can it like they would have filmed it and then it comes to the actual edit process of it and they're, they're like this just doesn't fit I right think now from it's a marketing perspective it would be smart to include it because it's likely then we'll post about it maybe maybe yeah you can if you've got a choice between a shot of us and another shot that just doesn't have any creators in it one gets posted one doesn't yeah fine from that sense it would make well stay sense, tuned guys yeah. i'm sure if you're if you're locked into our socials we'll be able to, yeah, you'll see it, it will, we'll post a screenshot or whatever i also do have a slight feeling though that they maybe would have told us by now if we were going to be in it do you know what i mean yeah you're probably right that's what yeah, i my whole sort of fucking niche eh? yeah but, uh, but on, on the topic of the sidemen um documentary there are a few other bits obviously you had the josh anxiety stuff um, but there was also a, a bit about Harry not knowing whether he wants to like continue it or like sack it all off. And I, I heard a few people talking about it and there was somebody on TikTok that did a review of the documentary. She, she said it was like the best creator based documentary she's watched. Really? It wasn't like a Sidemen fan. It was yeah. somebody outside of it. Just and they were there like, she's watched a up. lot of creator documentaries and they usually fall short of the mark. And she said, this one was really good. Yep. Um, and she's, and then in the comments, people were like there was like a bit of a q a going back and forth and one of the things they said was they're like oh what was like one of your takeaways from it in terms of like the individual uh members of Simon? she was there like i'm pretty sure harry's probably gonna sack it off pretty soon oh wow and i was there like what because that came as a real surprise to me i don't get the vibe that harry wants to sack it off at all do you not really i mean what would he do if he did sack it off i know that's what i'm thinking he don't go do traveling anything. Yeah, yeah, maybe, but he could maybe. still do that. Like he already, he already travels a lot yeah. at the moment. I guess maybe he, yeah. What would he do if he wasn't a side man? Because he don't upload, so maybe golf channel. Mm. Just yeah, I don't know if he was to sack it all of. I think because he, be it has to be said that he naturally is a very creative minded yeah. person. And what I will say is that when it comes to the side man content, he doesn't necessarily have that level of control, or he probably doesn't get to express himself creatively as he was growing up. Like when he was making those FIFA videos, yeah. people think, oh, just FIFA videos. But you have to remember, he literally changed the game of FIFA videos. He had this very obvious editing style. Mm -hmm. He was a very creative guy, very talented at that. And I think with the Sidemen stuff, he doesn't necessarily get the opportunity for that to shine through. So the only possible reason why I could think that he would leave that is if he had a particular po project that he really wanted to work on and was super passionate about, but the time that the Sidemen is taking to do stuff means that he wouldn't be able to do it but yeah. i i don't know what that project would be that maybe it'd just be work. going back to the main channel doing his own thing maybe maybe it would be maybe it would be but i just i don't know i i, I was really surprised when i saw that on there what was he like in the documentary it was very much like they did the round table thing where yeah. they all looked at the moments they watched bits back and they discussed it and yeah. it was very much that he said i just hate what i'm doing here right now like they were saying oh, what would you change is like stuff like this and basically just not slagging it off in a negative way, but he's just being really honest, saying, I hate all of the non-creative bullshit that comes yeah. with this job. Um, so, yeah. What yeah, I, I can understand that. Because for him, he has always said, though, he doesn't like doing anything that isn't him and the boys messing around on camera. Yeah, that's fair enough, man. You're kind of the same, though. As, yeah, a little bit. You like just you like just making the videos, and like doing the videos. You don't bit, like yeah. the bullshit around. I like around pissing it. around. And anytime when you come to me with these offers about we can do tour and this and that, I'm like, nah, please fucking no. Yeah, but that's just a little bit because I get like a little bit nervous in those situations, and I and I and I prefer to avoid them. Yeah, but I think that's probably similar Sometimes to Harry. Sometimes it's good though. to do, though, because you can't. It's, it's a fine balance, though, isn't it? Because it's like with Harry, yeah. the Sidemen's already massive. Yeah. Harry going that extra mile to, let's say, do these public appearances, I don't think changes the, the size of the Sidemen. It may maybe gives people more what they want in terms of like a personal yeah. setting. But like you doing a tour, let's say, as a different example, that elevates the podcast to mm -hmm. different countries, that elevates it to a different size. No, but size. You, could, you could even say, you know how in the in the, the round table, he's like, he don't like doing that here. Well, that's a, that's for a production yeah, that's sure. going on Netflix. That yeah. is about growing the brand. Yeah, yeah and to there be fair, like when Harry's not there, it's going to be, people will be like, where the fuck is Harry? He's like, yeah. one of the, it's an all or nothing yeah. thing, really, isn't People it? People love him, so. Yeah, so I was surprised to see that anyways. Uh, there was a couple, of, obviously you had the Ethan situation. We've spoken about that before. I think when we had Ethan actually on the podcast, we spoke to him about that as well, either in the first or second time that he was on. But um, Has he been on twice? Oh, his first and, and last episodes of season one, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Um, but he actually, if you've watched Ethan's own documentary, um, then the he, he goes into that. He speaks about that. The marathon one, yeah. 
I think it's in the marathon one. What he's he's already there's already been like a high yes, production you're right. value there thing, has, and yeah. it spoke about his um, his mental health struggles back then. Yeah. So that one, I get that's not like a predictable thing, but we kind of knew that they were going to be talking about. It. I think people knew a lot about that. The Josh bit um, and his. Not a lot of people know about that. I know about well, that, but not because he told me, but because I remember watching the video in which I think Toby's asking him like, what's something that nobody else knows that is a real secret? Yep. And usually if in a normal YouTube video, you kind of just waffle your way out of it. You just, you just chat nonsense, right? Mm -hmm. You just come up with some bullshit. Yeah. You're there like, oh, one time I sat my own cock, like something normal like that, right? <laughs> but he actually goes and says, Oh, I get like panic attacks in the shower thinking about death, or it was it was something along those lines. Anyways, oh yeah, I and I was know. there like, and he's there like, oh, I have really bad um, anxiety. I knew, I knew and stuff about like that. that. I didn't know about the panic attacks, but I did know he was scared of death. Yeah, I'd heard about it. So it was interesting to hear that side of side of things. I and I, I'm I'm amazed that people don't understand what, what how much Josh is involved in mm. just the the decision making assignment to me that seems very clear but i guess not it is if you know production but also at the same time because he doesn't possess himself as like someone that needs to be front and center of like the limelight mm -hmm. people can easily forget because ultimately people always just remember the one that's like the light's brightest on them if that makes sense yeah, with yeah, someone yeah. like josh he's happy to s sit into the background do the hard graft and then just sort of like get on with it really it feels yeah. like was there anybody in there that you wanted to see more of um to be fair it gave a good balance to all of them, I, yeah. I think. Um, I don't know, it's a bit different because I feel like I know a lot of like the behind the scenes guys you know and stuff like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. So. What would, you, what would you give the documentary out of 10? Am I comparing it to other documentaries in a similar field or just documentaries as a whole? Documentaries as a whole. Let, let, um, let's stack them up against the big boys. I'm going to give it a 10 being like, like an Invictus level yeah, yeah, doc yeah. sort of yeah. thing. Icarus. Is it I I Icarus? Icarus, sorry. Icarus yeah. yeah. Um, I'm going to go with a 8.2. That's very good. That is good. That's a solid. I, I, in my head, I thought you were going to say seven. Icarus is the... the uh, Doping. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the cycling one. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and that, that for me, you're right, is Wait. the best documentary in the world. That is a 10. Shit, man. You ain't playing no games, probably. A free you solo. Really it. Uh, yeah. Free uh, solo free is solo. unbelievable. I would give yeah. that close to a 10 too. Those are probably two of my favorite yeah. documentaries ever. Free solo and maybe crazy. Blackfish is up uh, there too. That's good. That's good. The one yeah. about SeaWorld. You got yeah, any documentaries? Not, you showed me that. I don't fuck with fish like that though. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, but just, for real, fish are aliens. Anyway. Yeah, that was good. Chat. Yeah. Cool. I'm excited to watch it. I'll probably go and watch, I'll, I'll watch, I will watch it in the next week or so. Yeah. I think you should. Yeah. yeah. And I'm moving can... I'm moving flat, so I got busy week got packing all oh, this stuff. I thought you were saying that like, I'm moving flat, like you you can stay low key. <laughs> <laughs> but you're actually moving flat. Yeah. That's big news. Yeah, I know it's great. You're excited. Yep. <laughs> you know how I'd be. I gotta have a bowling alley in my gaff. Is that actually what it is? How much are you gonna pay paying a month now? <laughs> Five grand a month. That's actually crazy, you know. That's stupid, isn't it? Yeah. But I don't I already pay close to that anyway. Yeah, that's disgusting. Though. Actually, don't say it's disgusting because it's close to what you pay. You pay. No, I know, I know. But the fact that you're actually moving. no, it's not even five. It's four point seven. Cool. What's the postcode of it? Obviously, we have finish. a lot of uh, <laughs> listeners that desperately want the fellas' mysteries back. So I thought today we'd give them a little taste of true crime. All right, all right. If, I, I, I still, here I, we I, go. I still love true crime. You guys bro. both wouldn't have been on TikTok much the last week, but this has gone incredibly well. I told you, Oman, Oman had, uh, Oman had better, better Wi-Fi than here. But okay, have you heard about the Clark family nah, case? No, nah, I haven't. Go ahead. All right, so essentially, I'll let you read it off on screen. Got gotcha. you. Okay, okay. all right. In October 14th, 2023, the Clark family consisting of Jonathan, Melissa, and their young son, Bobby, vanished without a trace from the home in Massachusetts. Have I said that right? Yeah. As days turned into weeks, there was no sign of the Clark family. Local authorities expanded their search to the surrounding areas. It wasn't until November 5th, 2023, this mystery, this mystery took a bizarre turn. In the family's own backyard, a small cube of bricks was discovered. A drawing was discovered in the back of an abandoned car not far from their family home. The drawing displayed a very intricate blueprint of three bodies hidden inside a brick cube. They later returned to the brick cube in the back of the Clark's family home to discover 
the three bodies tightly concealed inside. This drawing was drawn by Jonathan, the father. And then that is, um, this is the drawing. Oh my God. Go. This this cube, by the way, is mental. So now the three bodies were tightly concealed in there. I don't. Is it is, so? That's included. Wait, is that including the father? Yes. Have they? Um, have they? It's been like a like... puzzle, a puzzle cube almost. Yeah. So my my thing about this is right. If you look at the actual image on the thing, uh, the, the 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 drawn one. How does what, the head even yeah. really fit? Where in that? is yeah, like, like how, the third person? I clearly see one, two. I don't really see number three. Have they like dislocated the the bodies to get them into this position? Yeah, and I don't like from the top. There seems to be like a cube that's like half cut out. It just seems really weird. And also, like, why? I would hate that, man. I'm claustrophobic. Yeah, the last thing you want to do is die in a cube. No, who, just, who put them in there then? Well. Well, the cube was done by the father, no? Yeah, but he's dead in there as well. <laughs> All right. Well, Maybe it's some sort of suicide box. It's de- yeah, it's like a team suicide squad. <laughs> Except it's just a family. <laughs> no, but they he's obviously done it to everyone. And then gone. I'll jump in as European well. Oh, you look, look cozy in there. Let yeah, me look. Like, you got any room got, in there? There are people out there that they kill their whole family and they kill themselves, isn't it? Yeah. Maybe it's that. But you can't move yourself into a... a brick cube once you're dead yeah you can you can uh, put yourself in the brick cube and then suffocate yourself mm, yeah it's not the worst shout you know chip anyways look some people are saying that this uh, this case is fake and completely ai generated now what i will say is if this is ai generated and completely fake then true crime is about to get two things one a lot messier Right, the fact that people can just come up with this sort of stuff, they're going to start taking real cases and mixing it with AI. And then the second thing is, true crime is also about to get a lot more well, exciting. Even if it is AI generated, right? Like a human could have just come up with that. Yeah, that's why it's what AI. Was AI no, they're saying right. They're saying that the pictures um, regarding the case are AI generated. So yeah, I'll I mean, I oh, see- but the actual case is real. No, 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 no. It's an, it's a made up story. Okay. However, that this family oh, photo is all AI. AI generated okay. wow. image. So this family doesn't I could, exist. I could see that because people started looking up obit- obituaries and things like that, no, like local reports, good. and there's nothing. Wow, that's kind of cool, man. Maybe we should bring back fellas' mysteries, but every case is just fake. Let's do it, man. There's not an ounce of actual true crime. It's just crime. We'll start with nine eleven. Fake crime, huh? We'll start with nine eleven, eh? <laughs> Come on, bro. You know, we're already ahead of that game. We actually got to figure it out, but we just ain't telling no one yet. Bro, I used to watch 9-11 videos that like used to convince me that the planes were missiles. <laughs> <laughs> well, they were, if you think about it. Just like one like, big missile. It'll be like this guy zooming into like a pixel of the plane going, look at that, man. You want to see that? On a, an ordinary, ordinary plane, that's a missile. <laughs> on an aircraft. <laughs> We've uh, all watched those uh, YouTube ones. Yeah, uh, yeah but I love them. I think all the, and they're all like yeah. exactly 41 minutes long. Yeah, Illuminati, Rihanna videos and stuff like that from her music video where she turns into like a devil goat and all Here, that. Here's a fun stat about Rihanna. Yep. She hasn't released something in absolute donkeys. She's still the fourth most streamed on Spotify. How crazy is that? I'll still be listening to her. Shut up and drive. <laughs> She's her. <laughs> Did you lot see? Shut up and drive, drive, drive. I'm breaking dishes up in here all night. Uh huh. Did you lot see that clip of um, Andrew and Tristan Tate on their podcast saying about how I Spice was a devil worshiper? Yeah, because well, she's wearing the upside the down cross. No, yeah, she was the doing the like signs and stuff, right? He that called her out, and it's so funny because um, Andrew's obviously like going on this big like rant about her, and then Tristan's just going uh huh, and then just like ad libbing and ad-libbing. just backing him up like mm-hmm. a backup dancer. Yes, sir. Fucking fan. Let's have a look. I, by the way, I don't really. I, no, I, I know I'm gonna get cooked here, but I don't really understand the ice spice hype. Um, I don't really get it. With you, I'm not really understanding it. Um, do you? I guess they just love her music. No, nah, but they don't though. They like the they like the brand, the I Spice brand, the I Spice brand. And I'm just not like the music's uh like okay, it's pretty catchy. Ah, that's it for me. I, get me in a get me an ironing board, man. What are you talking about? You know, what, get, so you can iron your clothes or <laughs> no? You know, get me a get me. Well, a, you like you like that that straight. Get me a straight, straight talking get shit. Get me a straight plank. Yeah. I'm on that spec stuff. 
I want a Toshiba. You want a Toshiba. I understand. Look, Talk, I, talking of a girl that everyone's loving at the moment, though, Sydney Sweeney. You seen on them their memes? The memes. Seen it oh there. my god, Sydney Sweeney. Yeah, has has been living that like brand of person for time now. People have been onto Sydney Sweeney ever since. What was the thing that she broke through on? I forget what it is. Euphoria. But like they've taken the dog barking memes to a new level on here, man. It is absolutely. I love the now, dog barking. Now, Sydney Sweeney, like Stan Twitter is a different breed, man. These lot. Wow. Yeah, well, some just in that new movie, isn't she? And it's like, it's like a rom-com oh, or something. I now we need to talk about, no, no, no. It's called like Miss Webb. No, Madam Webb. I'm thinking of Madam Webb. Madam Webb. She's in that. Is she? Yeah. yeah. No, she, she is. Not. Yeah, she, she is. is. She, she is. is. And it's been voted one of the worst oh, yeah, movies right. ever. And I'm going to go watch it. Is she just like, why are you going to go watch it? I'm, I need to go watch it because it, that will just add fuel to my fire for hatred for this type of movie. Yeah, but like they make stinkers. Don't worry about it. That's not part of what we what we're on. Is it just like a bird version of Spider Man? A what version? A bird version, like a girl version. A lady, you like? Lady, come, on. come on, Prod, have some fucking respect. Respect, man. girls. Jesus man. Christ, you make our job so difficult. I <laughs> know. Um, Unbelievable. Have you seen the video where she's she's there like, uh, oh, I'm just a blonde with big tits. That's not true. N- and. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, simping so bad. You're more than that. That's not true. She's not blonde. <laughs> no, that's when she. That's that is the joke that I'm talking about. But she makes that joke. Yeah. And I was like, it's a good bit of viral marketing right there from her. Now there's the one of some guy on Twitter basically saying like, if this was anywhere outside of America and Eastern Europe and Russia, she'd be a six. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> and then people are just all in the comments like, oh yeah, rock up to Moscow, pal, see what's going on. <laughs> yeah, they were they're like, oh the, yeah, they said something like, oh in Poland, like she's an eight out of ten. In the Moscow subway, she's a five out of ten. That's crazy. Like, by the way. That's like, the like, perviest what? shit I've ever heard. Yeah. Anyways, look. She's uh she's look as far as I'm concerned she's in Madam Web and that's a stinker of a film. Oh wait, so the lead in that is what's her name? Dakota Johnson. Yes. You see you know a little too much about this yeah, movie, right? You're so like marveled up. It's yeah, crazy. marveled up. Right? So this Dakota Johnson, she's oh, been doing the press tour for all these movies. Yep. Have you seen them? And she it, you can visibly see in the the uh interviews that she hates this movie and she wants nothing to do with it but she has to be there for contract reasons she's literally there like yeah you know da, da, da. she's making them so boring she's giving them nothing because she knows she doesn't want to be part of this whoever said yes to this movie for her is should be fired and it wouldn't surprise me if she watched the first draft and just fired him because it's that bad. 13% on the tomato meter for the audience. No, for the critics and 55% for the audience. If you if you're getting 55% audience score, you really fumbled it, man. That's looking rough. I will watch What it. about Letterbox? I will, Should we see what Letterbox has got? I, I reckon it's got it's got to be under 2. Cuz if you guys don't know, all three of us, me, Proddy, Chip we've all got Letterbox accounts. You can follow me. I'm Cal Filmsy, you know. I reckon it's 1.9. A minus chip or crimes. Madam. Oh, it might not be on there yet. Nah, it should be. Oh, it is. Right, what do you reckon it is? 1.9. 1. 1.9, 1. 9, what are you going with? Um, 2.5. 1.6. Whoa, Whoa, that's fucking That's low. really bad. Holy smokes, that is bad. Uh, Yeah, that's... <sighs> not to worry though, guys, because June 2 is out next week. So. Yeah, I've already booked my tickets to go watch it in the cinema. I'm, I, I, I haven't done that for a movie in forever. That's how excited well, I am. The premiere was just on. I saw Italian Bachelors there. Oh yeah, people have already already so been people to it, have right? already seen it. Amazing! I can't. You know wait what's to crazy watch it. though? Why what? didn't they release June in June? Because it's got nothing oh, that's to do with pathetic. them. That's such yeah, bad wrong? banter no, as well. That's no, actually but they fu- missed that's the trick. Pissed me off. They no, missed the trick. No, what's the trick? June in June. Is that going to sell more tickets, Prod? Might do. You're a bad guy, you know, Proddy. <laughs> Some knackered banter. Get the, get the notes June back up. Let's two. talk about Wait, I'm, just... like, I'm quickly getting these... Um... So you're buying his tickets to go see June 2 in February. Yeah, March, yeah, yeah. Make sure you get on that IMAX wave, Prod. Eh? Hey? IMAX. Nah, I'm not actually for, not, not for me, June. Did you see this one? It's not for you. The movie's not for you. Wait, hold on. This Sydney scene. Oh my God. Nah, that is shocking. That's the best scene ever. You guys <laughs> won't know about it because you don't know about the boys. Because you don't watch it. What, where he's sucking on milk? It's one of the best TV shows. There's a picture, to the the audio listeners, there's a picture of Sydney Sweeney, and then it's Homelander from The Boys 
like tonguing a milk bottle. Yeah, because you're a milkman, isn't it? Is that what does that mean? What does he like women with big breasts? White girls. Oh, milk is that what it is? Is that yeah. what it is? Is that what it's called? If you're if you like women, white women with big breasts. I think so, yeah. Then you're called a milkman. I don't man. know if it's anything to do with big breasts, but I know it's a milkman. Milkman. Oh, you, you, you love them snow bunnies. <laughs> Oh yeah, no. Nah, so that's if you're that's if or, or a girl is a snow bunny if she likes black guy if a white girl likes black guys, right? I don't know. That's what is it that is. Is that what it is? Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna sit here pretend I know Nish. Yeah, bro, bro knows all the categories. <laughs> he got that shit bookmarked. What else we got? What else has been happening in the world? Anything exciting, Bruce? Um, oh, the Apple Vision Pro. Let me tell you. I saw Zuckerberg cook it. Oh, he put that thing in a spliff. Yeah, he actually did a good job as well. That video was a good video. Yeah, but did you see him at the UFC though? You, Bro's not a real human being. You lot are actually so <laughs> stupid. Let me talk to you lot about. I see. Him Don't say you fried. lot. Don't say you lot because I'm not. Are oh, you on my team? Well, well, the way I'm about to start frying prod now. Hundred percent. Get, yeah. get, get get his receding ass. Us PAYs can cook him. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. Listen up, right? Damn, You're you talking about a guy yeah. that is in his thirties, right? He was one of the richest guys in the world from ages from for ages. Of mm. course, he's not going to be fucking normal. <laughs> right? Look at him. That's true. He has built fucking Facebook and he owns Instagram. He runs this shit and he's in his 30s. Mm -hmm. This guy, he's spit, if, if, if he walked out <laughs> and he was and he was just talking like a normal guy, cracking good jokes, banner, I would be there like, you did not create fucking that. Fucking bars. P-A-Y-E. Mm. Mm. <laughs> yeah. So of course he's not going to be normal. Yeah, he was a bit awkward there. Fuck it. Shout out Mark Zuckerberg. And look, if you bring a podcast to Facebook, shout out. You watch the movie Social Network. The glazing was crazy there. <laughs> I'm serious. I'm tired of the Zuck slander. Oh, this is going to get him on the pod though. Yeah, Zuck, come on the podcast, man. I want to talk to you about how great you are. <laughs> Daddy. So what did he say about the Vision Pro then? Now he just cooked. He said, it, he, what he said is pretty much that the MetaQuest can do everything that the Vision Pro yeah. can do for like a fraction of the price. Yeah. He said, and he that's said what a lot of people are saying. Vision Pro had better resolution, but they had to make a lot of compromises to get there. And that was a surprising amount of compromises, he said. Yes. So, yeah, the, the Vision Pro stuff. I mean, look, everybody's jumped on a wave. I saw Simon did a video. Ryan Tran did a video. MKBHD has made it his personality. Like, it is... <laughs> It's intense. There's a lot of Vision mm. Pro propaganda. I'm kind of here for it, but let me tell you guys, I don't know why you lot are I buying Gen 1. Though. Don't, be, don't. I, I oh, used, you've used it. I, no, but I'd used like the Meta products before. And so when I saw all that shit they were doing, it's still similar to what I've already used. Yeah. So I didn't, it wasn't like, oh my God, but the other people had like, I think a lot of people had never used anything from Meta before and were just mind blown by this thing. So I'm not going to get this, I don't think. No, I'm going to wait because naturally as well with generation one editions of these yeah. things, they're just never going to be, there's going to be a lot of like kinks. They're going to try and figure out how people actually use mm. this thing. There's a lot to be- I'm glad that Apple did it on. and got it right though because th those are the guys that will really drive this motherfucker forward. Yeah, they it actually clean. Be crazy. Right, it looks cool. It'll be, once they get it right, it's just the first one. Remember the first iPhone? Like, yeah. we're in for the long ride here. Like, it's a shame though because we we're going to be a little bit old. You know, like, do you know what I mean? Do, do you we're not going to grow up with it. You yeah, I mean? kind of like we're going to be like in our 40s, busy kids, all that stuff when when it's like in its prime. Yeah, I feel. Yeah, I get what you mean. So we'll, uh, or maybe we'll be retired. You never know. And we'll just be walking around with these things. It's so funny watching the people walk around with these things in the street. It just doesn't feel real. Yeah. I've got a question for you. Talk of getting old. Do you reckon you'll be video game dads? 100%. Yeah, man. Let me talk to you about a new video game that has popped up and it's everywhere right now. The hottest game out right now. Do you know what it is? Resident Evil 6. <laughs> no, that's a bit old. It is Helldivers. Oh, is, it, is it Helldivers or Helljumpers? I've absolutely Hell started the name. What is it? Helldivers. Um, I've just butchered the name. It's one of them two. Um, oh yeah, I got it right. Uh, but it's Helldivers 2. Right. And, and so Hell why Divers are people guessing it? Um, it, well, essentially, it just is like a co-op game, and I th I've not played it yet, so I can't really talk about it too much. I've watched a lot of gameplay videos, though, and it looks fucking really fun, but I think it's like a community-driven thing, so all the players in the world are working towards unlocking, like, the next future levels. That's pretty cool. Um, so, like, there's this kind of meme tiktok -y thing going around at the moment. It's only on PlayStation and, I think, PC, and they're all all the PlayStation players are like asking for it to be released on Xbox so they can all unite together. 
Oh, that's quite cool. Which is like something you normally never see. Yeah. And so what is the closest game that you see to it? Is it a third person shooter? Is it first it's, person? It's kind of like back in, it's third person. Um, and I think people are comparing it to stuff like, you ever play Left 4 Dead? Lost yeah. Planet? Yeah. Stuff like that from back in the day. Apparently, uh, just apparently it's really good. And it's also, I don't know the price in pounds, but I think in the US it's $40. Okay. So maybe so it's, like, way, a th- so it's like a 30 pound game, I think. How much is it probably in pounds? Can you check? 30 quid. 30 quid, yeah. Oh, there you go. Yeah, my bad. 30 quid on PC. Um, that's pretty cheap, right? Yeah. So, oh, well, yeah, that's not a full price retail PlayStation's game. 35. So, like, me and Proddy, uh, me and, uh, no, probably me and Bailey were like, yeah, we're going to get this. We're going to play it. Because it's a co-op game. So you're going to do it? You jump on the wave, man. You got no. a PS5. Let's play. I don't really I don't really do stuff Come like on, this. man. Because honestly, like, you must be getting tired going on. No, nah, man. So. I, I like to go home. You know what I do when I go home? I, I, the first thing I do, I, this is the exact same every day. Yeah. Walk in. Too much she's off. I sit on the couch. Yeah. I just, I just, I don't do anything for like five minutes. I just sit there like five t- minutes. Oh, I'll be on that way yeah. for 30 minutes. I'll yeah. sit there. Don't, I, I'll be like, see me, you know, can I get a water please? Yeah. yeah. No, I, I'll be throwing out some I'll requests. Be a, I'll be like, what's for dinner? Yeah. What's going on? Yeah. Like, I'll get the TV remote. And then you know what she does? She spits at me and says, sort your own shit out. You sack of shit. <laughs> um, but yeah. All right. Cool. Let me tell you the play. By the what, way, what's the like play? You ain't got, a, got the right play. Every day, every day I come to work, there has been a mad problem that I have yeah. had to solve. Right. Like normally I've come home and I've saved the company. That'll be days I'll come home and be like, damn, some fucking shit kicked off today. <gasps> Finances so all you, over you're the just place. coming up with yeah. some crazy stuff every nah, time. Nah, nah, because it's real in my head. Yeah. I just exaggerated it. You know, yeah, I nice. might have spotted one mis- spelling mistake on a brief and I've gone, damn, nearly got sent out to investors, could have run us under. <laughs> I like that. That's a good way of doing it. She goes, oh baby, like, oh, you're so wow. good at that shit. Yeah. I'm like, thank you. Like, what's a dinner? <laughs> yeah. So she knows I hustled and bustled my way through yeah. the day. But really, I was on Reddit looking at meat. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know what? That's, that's genius. That was like, uh, what, did Andrew Tate say it on our podcast? With him, or he said, "Yeah, we are all not working hard enough." <laughs> no, no, no. Doing ten pods a day. Uh, he said, "Do ten pods a day." Yeah, that yeah. was funny. No, when he said, "Was what you need to do is we that, you, that you no, know. no, he was memeing us, and we bit onto that." Yeah, yeah, no, no. But do you remember the bit where he said, like, um, he was there like, "Yeah, so this is what you want to do: you go out and you get all the money that you earned that day, or whatever. You withdraw it at the bank, right? And then you come home, but you come home at like." 1 a.m. or like midnight, and then you take the cash and you just put it on the table. You say, That's for you, sweetheart. Like that. <laughs> but never tell her what you do. And oh, it, like, like, yes. let's say, let's say, like, you're just you're working in finance in Canary Wharf. <laughs> never tell her what you do. Just go to the cash point, take out cash, and come home, drop it on the thing, and say, Treat yourself. That, <laughs> take, take care of yourself, love. Yeah. I saw that on um, TikTok. Someone was I saying, I don't know if it was our podcast. He said that, or he nah, said he did say, I think he did say it on ours. Right. Uh, but I saw someone on TikTok. They were basically saying like, "There's a there's a common like meme and like trend that people don't know what their brothers do for work." Like, and then some girl was saying, "I couldn't tell you what my brother does for work." Do you know what your siblings yeah, do for I a job? I actually don't know what my sister. I know like roughly because I, I know like the industry she works in, but I couldn't tell you really what, like what she like when she gets into work and she clocks in. Yeah, God forbid. So she comes- <laughs> clocks in. <laughs> I pray for every night, by the way. <laughs> Stuck in the rat race. Hey, 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 if, hey every, if everyone could just hold a prayer for her right now. A lot of our viewers hey, are fucking sure. in. You just, right, cooked whole, you, you just cooked the whole audience. Yeah, no, but that was a prayer for everybody. Yeah. Actually. Probably included, Now, man. you know what? I call them nine to fivers. Live, yeah. to, live for the weekend. See, that's the beauty of you, bro. You're not actually a nine to fiver. No, I'm a ten to six. Ten to six. <laughs> and that's why he's ahead of the game. Always one hour ahead of the game. <laughs> Literally. Uh, Everyone going to get out. We're all going to make it out, man. Uh, speaking of making it out the hood, somebody that's going back into the hood. Wayne Rooney wants to fight on Misfits. Yeah. Have you ever seen the video of him doing a little boxing thing in his kitchen? No, but I've seen the thing of him getting dressed after porking someone's grandma. <laughs> Answer that. Is it wasn't no, yeah, you have he seen did that. Fuck have someone's seen grandma. That? that is like a thing. Like Wayne Rooney likes to shag like really old women. Really? Yeah. Uh, but I sorry, remember, yeah, get to, I don't know how we got back onto that point, by the way. Well, I'd actually be excited to uh watch him on Misfits though. Oh, I thought you were gonna say the video about him porking a grandma. But surely like he just 
I think he can box. I saw a clip of Eddie Hearn saying that Wayne Rooney beats um, Jake Paul. Um, Wayne Rooney could have been a pro boxer when he was younger, but he chose uh, football knee. instead. All oh, right. Oh, well, maybe he got a little natural ability. Yeah, and he. Like, I'm not faced that optimistic. The crossroads, and he had to choose one. Oh, uh, I don't. Okay, so hear me out. So True Jordy's done a video. He said he's known about this for weeks. I'm gonna put my hands up in the air. Me too. But uh, I'd, uh, I'd heard uh, about this. I'd heard. I was about with it. you. Yeah, we'd heard about this. Now, we won't say exactly who the rumored opponent was because I tried to get some verification off of somebody and they said they're not actually sure. It's one big maybe at the moment, right? So this is not a confirmed thing. It's just, I think, a name that's flown around a few times. Yeah. Um, which is amazing because let me tell you, boy, I would love to watch Rain That Wayne would be Rooney unbelievable. Do it at Old Trafford. Yeah, cold. Do you reckon Old Trafford are hosting that? No, event? I don't think they uh, do. I, can't I don't see think it. so. But it will. Yeah, that would. Be it will be. It could be Manchester, like Manchester Arena, or something like that. Or yeah, I tell you what, that would uh, Wayne Rooney. Who are his possible opponents? So we obviously have JJ as a possible opponent. I'll be honest with you, I just don't think Wayne Rooney and JJ fight. I'll be honest with you, I, I don't see that happening. I think. Well, look, Jake Paul gets to fight retired sportsman. Yeah. I just don't see JJ doing it. I think, think it'd be a, a, a big money be, fight. I think it'd be fun. Yeah, it would be I fun. And I would fun. like to see it. I just don't know if JJ... I would actually, Yeah, I would love to see that, actually. JJ versus Wayne Rooney. It's just... An, it's so odd and so strange that I'm here for it. Who's Wayne the, Rooney versus Swabs? Yeah. <laughs> that is just like a mad crossover. Like That's, Yeah, no, I nobody wants to Any, watch Whoever the opponent is, it's just mad anyway. Who's the rumored opponent then? Well, no, the rumored opponent is JJ. Yeah, but, but, it, I, but what I'm saying is we can list off some names of people that we reckon um, fight. I mean, I remember when Mams was saying that HS Tiki Toki was supposed to fight on a Misfits card, and I, it did. Is this not is this not going to happen now? Is he going to fight? Yeah, Maybe him versus Wayne Rooney would be good. Huh? What, what happened to that? Because I swear it was because he, he, he got moved. He got moved off the one that Ed Matthews was on, right? Yeah. yeah, and it was meant, and then he got moved to like later in the year, or something along those lines. So we saying are we saying Wayne Rooney's a cruiserweight. Um, I imagine so. Yes, because that's like my weight. Yes, yeah, I would Damn, say he I is don't a know a lot of the people in that list. You know, like, Mist. How's Mist got there? Mist is in the, the Mist is, is no, that, no, no. Is that not, not uh, TSM? Is that not the streamer? That's myth. Myth, oh fuck. <laughs> yeah, no, that is missed, as in the Mr. Rapper. rapper. Uh, yeah, I'm not familiar with a lot of the people there. I know Jake Paul, Sensei, KSI, and I've seen DK Money as well. Ashley Kane. Yeah. No, Rob. he's got the big beard. Yeah. Maybe yeah. I recognize the face. Light heavyweight. Fuck, man. Who? Wayne Rooney versus Salt Puppy. That I'd watch. Yeah. I would watch that. Why would you, why that, why that fight, though? Because I just love watching to Salt be Puppy fair, fight. Windus and Nunes could work. Wayne Rooney versus Slim. <laughs> Why? What an awful shout, Prod man! You what your takes on this fucking pod? We need to take your mic. Whoever away. Wayne Rooney is Just fighting is going to be a pause. We need to do ID verification for podcast. You're fucking mics. idiot! Bro, of course, said, it's going to be whoever Wayne Rooney fights will be a good fight. So, oh, okay. So, out of everyone on here, let's get him up. No, let's get him against Luke so Warley. Give him a fight that he's we can't, probably likely we, we to win. We don't even know Winderson Nunes. There's no connection for like you're the disrespecting fans. the Brazilian. I actually like feel that on pro, Prod's name. Him. I feel that. But what I'm trying to say is we don't. Scroll know down. Him. Let me see. Let me see. He ain't on. A, he ain't, like if we've got an English legendary footballer. Oh, stop here. crying, bro. Get on with Bro's it. getting mad because because we got a nah, Rooney thing I'm here. He's getting passionate right now. I got Rooney up on my fucking wall right there. See that. I'm sick of I've never seen you, I've seen you I've never just seen you get up. out just lighten up you <laughs> lighten up man Thierry Henry clears never give, it, never bro, give anyone a podcast mic bro Suarez, <laughs> Suarez fucking put him in a spliff man relax um, right who we got Deji Deji you know what, what no, by the way you shouldn't even laugh at Deji fighting Deji fought Floyd Mayweather I don't yeah, want to hear that's nothing crazy. Yeah, that's De crazy Deji isn't an awful coming. shout as well an awful shout he's not an awful shout oh no he's a good shout I would yeah. like to see it nah because I feel like Deji look he had his Floyd Mayweather moment you know we need someone else in there now no, who to step up Je Jeremy Parch <laughs> who's Jeremy Parch <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy who Parch nah, I've just got to name called Jurassic Je Park no there's not a fellow named Jurassic Park on Jeremy here Park. No, Jeremy Park <laughs> nah I'm being rude who, 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 pull him up pull him up <laughs> Jeremy Parkinson. 
Oh, he's fucking wham to be Oh, fair. why did we start beef with this guy for getting <laughs> shit? Nah, but it does. if he's got muscles, doesn't mean he's about it. Nah, but come nah, on, mate. Chip. Come, you could use Chip, you you've started something. No, look at that. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. Yo, Jeremy uh, Park. Let I me tell you Jeremy let Park, say, man. Let me tell you, let me tell you something Wait, about Jeremy Park. It? That's my favourite influencer. Let, let, me me let me tell you. Jeremy Park's got tech, you know. <laughs> nah, let me say something about Jeremy Park. Follow this guy up on the gram. He's the best. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you something, guys. It, once, you hit, once, you, once you hit him up on the ground, make sure you check the link in his bio. His courses are crazy. 100%. 100%, 100% that, yeah, that's jpark underscore fit in the gram. Shout out to my boy, my bro. Everyone go drop a comment you saying know, the fellas the love fans. you. Let me tell you something about this guy's work ethic. He's up at 5 a.m. You in, still in bed. Shout out to my boy, Jay Park. All right. All right. So <laughs> Wayne Rooney, Jay Park, that's the fight to make. Um. All right. Let's talk. I just twerked for another man so bad. <laughs> Bro was bent over, the spread second, them the cheeks. Second I, and saw, let him... I called him Jurassic Park. The second I saw his body, I just fucking collapsed. <laughs> uh, right, we got some shot attacks uh, for you lot. All right, here we go. Let's body had look. one bang TikTok of these guys. <laughs> he brings um, it back. Every who we, oh my god, oh, these are gonna go nuts. <laughs> if you haven't seen this before, then what we do is we read out texts that drug dealers have sent people, and you guys seem to like it. So. I think I would have been a great drug dealer, man. I would have been texting like mad shit, you know, like you got a lot of potential. <laughs> yeah. There's still time. All right, yeah, here I we guess. go. Um, these are supposedly uh Tom Garrett's leaked text messages with a drug dealer. It says, uh, do tick till twenty first. Give me something to hold. Me bank card, love. Hmm, dunno. Promise love, honest. Little hand job and call it twenty fifth. Deal. Got friends over. We'll go in the front room. <laughs> Has this guy just he's given him? Got to be northern because he's just cutting off the words. We'll go in front room. <laughs> we'll go in front room. Nah, but that sounds like Randolph. He could be chatting to Randolph there for all we know. Play, though, little little deal, eh? What would you do for for a gram of cocaine? What's the furthest you would you would go? Um, I don't know, man. That's a good deal, in my opinion. I think a hand job for a gram is pretty good. Yeah, but it's hand job to, for tick. You know, she's still she's still got to pay. But All when right. you say tick, though, is that what does that mean? Isn't it just like a ticket? You, you pay later, right? Don't know. That's like what it's, all, like it's to... on tickets. Like I think it's like yeah, I think it's like kind of like a loan. Yeah, we're not we're not from. We need to ask Randall for a translation. I think. Anyways, right, let's go to the next one. All right. Got one here. Hey, hon. Can I order some Zans from you, please? Kiss, kiss. What's up? Sure. Which ones you looking for and how many? Also, just to say, can you not send exes? My missus ain't a fan. <laughs> <laughs> I'll send you and then, and then wait, 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 wait. Shush, shush, shush. Sorry, I know you probs don't mean anything by it, but she got <laughs> me. <laughs> Fucking hell, she's gone I, crazy. I'm already. sorry, yeah, but if if... A woman has a stronghold over a drug dealer like that. You know, it, the drug dealer's got to be a cut. Yeah, he's in a tough spot. To My be missus has BPD. You know what? That's very thoughtful it's of the not, drug dealer. Yeah, it is thoughtful. It's not his, his fault, really, either. Like, he can't control that. I, I, you know, one thing I, 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 I'm not a fan of is people that send exes after every single message. I used to do that yeah, when I was younger. Yeah, some weird dons that I used do to, that. Uh, when I was, I used to do that when I was younger and I would send 10 exes with every message. No, but you you want to know what's crazy? It's back like in 14. the day and I remember this. I never did this, but I knew this was like an unwritten rule. Was there like, you'd be sending like two kisses, two kisses. And then if someone put three. You had to match that. You had to match that. And if you did it, it mean that they didn't like you like that. Yeah. Do you remember that? That was true. Yeah. I forgot all about that, man. And then you just get up to like 10, 12 kisses and you're just like, damn, man, like, when does it end? <laughs> all right, here we go. We got another one. Um, this one uh, said, nearly finished, then en route. Uh, replied with, you have a key? Uh, one about an hour ago. Didn't do now, though. I'm meant to get in the house, you freak. <laughs> <laughs> Goes deep in the game. We all been there. Hey, right? we been there. Well, maybe you, but I'm a clean no. as a fiddle. All right, this one's from Wayne. From Wayne, I might be big. All right, active. <laughs> <laughs> active. <laughs> so you remember handed me a fiver with a thumbprint of pure shit on it? What? Fucking wash your hands. <laughs> <laughs> no way. 
No. Oh. The way he's had to send that out is like a big group message as well. <laughs> that is grim, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, he must have gone and smelt it and gone, ah, oh, shit, that. <laughs> oh, this one's so good. All right, here we go. Let me get the next one up. <laughs> All right, here we go. Text from Speed. <laughs> Saved contact Speed. Walking now, just going to get cash out. B20. Can't be. <laughs> Whereabouts on XP? Arches, B. <laughs> Sweet, we are here, kiss. On way, B. Calm, B. Yeah, kiss. <laughs> Your bang. <laughs> Calm, B. <laughs> Swear God, you shame me out. Say no. <laughs> no. Come here, quick. <laughs> My Uber is this. Fucking hell. I swear I've got a huge say How can you say that? How can you say that? <laughs> That's shameless. Oh that is my shameless. God. <laughs> All right, here we go. Grammar's on Prime. <laughs> Drivers wanted. Looking for a driver for deliveries to tour the HA postcode. Type of clientele you'll be delivering to nine to fives, mums, dads, aunties, and uncles. Twelve times fifty per hour. That's decent that. Flexible hours. PM me if you're interested or know of anyone that is. Any further questions, shout me. How have they, I'm sorry, but how have they stuck on a fucking job description saying flexible hours? Yeah, no shit. Try 2 a.m. Just wondering if you're about for, for G, <laughs> for Graham, I guess. Hello. Uh, not around now. Apologies. No worries, son. <laughs> Wrap me up in leather. <laughs> Ain't a fan of this weather, but regardless of the rain, I'll move light like a feather. <laughs> a line on my yay will make you do the Macarena B. <laughs> I these lot have lost the plot. <laughs> that last Ma bit didn't even cook. <laughs> it didn't cook at all. <laughs> like a feather and macarena. Don't even look. Nah, this reminds me of the time I was in Soho House. <laughs> and this guy came up to me and said, are you a YouTuber? And I was like, yeah. He's like, I'm a f I'll rap for you right now. <laughs> <laughs> and he, was, he got his maid to play a beat on his phone and started <laughs> rapping at the bar. No yeah, it was just crazy. It was so mad. <laughs> it's never good as well. Like those moments is never, no one has, you've, you've ever gone and gone, wow, that, that was actually No, classmate. I was gassing up like, damn, you got to drop music, man. He's like, yeah, get up my Instagram. I'm already dropping music once a week, you know? <laughs> But right. it's just funny. Is that the last one? That yeah, was that was the last, the last one. one. All right. That's pretty good. Guys, look, we're going to wrap it up there. Guys, thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already, subscribe to this YouTube channel. We have actually, we've we've come up with what the forfeit is. Chip, you weren't here. What, what, for for what? So this year we set Proddy the task. So you got to <laughs> get the fellas to a million subscribers by yep. the end of the year. Yep. Now that's quite a bit. What is it? Like 350k subs? Yeah, we're on four... No, sorry, six, no, four, eight. Six, six, something. Four, eight. So we got about 350k subs to go, okay? There is a brand new thing that we've introduced. If you guys can get us to a million subscribers, Proddy is going to be sat in Y fronts for an entire episode lathered in lubricant from top to bottom, like shiny, like baby right? When and did, when, he's going to be sat right here. Nah, he's and sat he's over not, there. No, 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 he's sat right here. He's not allowed to say a word. He just <laughs> has to sit there quiet for the entire episode, lathered top to bottom. Dogs have to be hanging onto the edge like this, right? Like that. The whole episode. Why did, where did you come up with that? Why would you come up with that? Because that's, that's just what's needed. Someone said on the live, can they cover me in oil? And so I said, yes, if you get us to a million subscribers. Damn. I'm actually excited for that. Can I just actually quickly on the topic of forfeits, do you boys remember no. during the... Um, no, I don't, no, I don't remember no, that. No, no, do you remember? Like, no, during I don't remember that. Season forgot. one, you said if no. you ever got that like, Spotify deal. No, uh, I don't remember that, do you? Spotify deal that got dropped. Yeah, but yeah. you would get a fella's uh, tattoo. Sorry. Yeah, but in the T's and C's, it said it had to last three years. Don't think it did. Uh, did you have T's and C's for that? Oh, yep. yeah. If you read the... No, four, you didn't read the fine print? The four, you didn't read the, the fine print. Guys, thank you very important. much for watching. We will catch you all on the next episode. Like I said, make sure you subscribe. Get this to a million subscribers. I might even just get a bollock out as well. Just... just. 
not, why not? Yeah, no. Chip said Chip said he's going to do a charity stream where everybody could shave a bit of his arsehole as well. Yeah. That'd be great. We'll see you guys all on the next episode. Subscribe. Make sure you follow us on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Deezer. Uh, oh, by the way, if you do actually watch Deezer, please let me know. I've never met anybody that does. Uh, D-Live. And I'll see you. D-Live, innit? D-Live. D-Live. Thank Don't you very much. Don't forget to double tap. All right, see you guys next up. Bye.